Sumitomo Dimak zeigt auf einer elektrischen Maschine. Sumitomo Dimak is showing the production of a radio faceplate, a typical car interior component on an electric machine. This part is very complex and challenging to make because the customer has special requirements for surface quality and dimensional stability, and especially because to save costs, the faceplates will not be painted later. When we're making radio faceplates without post-production painting, we need to give the parts a high-gloss Class A surface during the production process. This needs a high-quality mold, a special process technique and, most of all, a machine with the right equipment. This is the only way to reproduce the surface detail accurately and avoid defects. When we produced this part, our project partner Stieler GmbH helped us fit the Intellect 50 with the right equipment so we could meet the customer's needs. We fitted a lockable non-return valve to the Intellect and added different functions for better process control and visualization. The machine produced the faceplates in a very accurate injection molding process using external gas pressure technique and cyclical cavity temperature control. This was the only way to make sure the faceplate would meet the specifications. Standard injection pressure would not be enough to produce high-gloss surfaces without sink marks. And, and it would be impossible to avoid visible joint lines. Beim Gasaußendruckverfahren the external gas pressure technique means injecting high pressure nitrogen between the cavity wall and the molded part. The gas applies an even pressure to the back of the part, so you get a very good reproduction of surface detail on the front. If we look at the finished part closely, we see that sink marks only occur on the hidden side of the part. We get immaculate reproduction of surface detail, even in thick walled parts that are further away from the gate. The part also has a series of gaps which would normally cause visible joint lines. This is where cyclical cavity temperature control comes in. Before and during the injection phase, we really increase the cavity temperature. So, compared to conventional injection molding, the melt is significantly hotter where the two flow fronts meet, and this prevents the occurrence of visible joint lines. Cyclical cavity temperature control also has cooling so we can get very competitive cycle times. When we have temperatures fluctuating by about 200 degrees C, temperature control is a challenge. This is because of the evaporation of cooling water, but also because of high pressure and high temperatures. Our concept generates vapor directly inside the cavity and not in an external system. This makes the media supply much less critical and means we also use significantly less energy. Sumitomo Demag brought extensive experience to this project, as well as expertise in producing parts with Class A surfaces. The production of radio faceplates is a highly sensitive process, so you need high precision control and high repeatability. Both of these are strong points of the Intellect electric injection molding machines. And, true to our motto, think green, act blue, we aimed for a high level of energy efficiency even for this complex project.